Mr. Price, how you doing? Good, man. Going to be making your pro debut. What's the thoughts? What's the feelings? I'm happy that it's finally coming, you know. I uh, feel like I've been putting in a lot of work, uh, training my hardest, and, you know, been in here kind of, you know, getting my ass beat on a regular basis. So, um, yeah, I'm excited for it. I think it'll be fun, interesting. We talked to you before the Amateur World Championships for King of the Cage. How'd that go for you? How'd you feel about your night? It was cool. Uh, you know, some things, like, I don't ever... I haven't got a chance to show the, my whole skill set. For some reason, I keep tapping people out. It's not necessarily my skill set. I don't feel like it's my skill set. Um, but yeah, I mean, the fight went well. You know, it was a trip to Las Vegas and uh, got to kind of experience that. You know, I got to fight uh, a guy from a totally different part of the country, which is great. Um, so yeah, I mean, overall, it was great. It was a good experience. So does it feel awkward making the jump when you still feel that you haven't shown off your full skill set in the cage, or you think it is the right time? No, I think it's I think it's a perfect time. Um, you know, I just don't think the opportunity has presented itself for me to show off. You know, some of the other skills I have. Hopefully, you know, this will be the this will be the opportunity to show off those other skills. Um, uh, the other things I feel like I'm good at. You know. Well, if you're wanting to show off the striking, I think you're going to get the opportunity because we know that. Casey Yates, your opponent, comes out like a house on fire every time. Well, you know, uh, I hope so. Uh, you know, I wouldn't expect anything less from him, uh, and I think it'll be exciting, you know. Uh, I feel like I'm predominantly a stand-up fighter, so um, it just, I just haven't had the luck to stand up for very for very long in my last fight, so hopefully this will uh, prove, this will prove uh, to, to be an example of some of my other skills. Talk to you, talk to a lot of people around the gym. Usually when you got a King of the Cage matchup coming, it's, it's a new opponent, I'm going to learn something about him. Totally opposite for you. You know Casey. You, you've seen him around before, so does that make this fight somewhat different that you now know your opponent where you haven't been in that position before? Um, not really. You know, it's a... Whether I know my opponent or not, I mean, it's still, it still just ends up becoming another person that, you know that I'm in the cage with. It's not necessarily, uh, you know, something that's going to affect the way I go about things. Um, you know, I tend to focus on what I do, uh, less what my opponent's doing or what they're doing or how they train or, you know, the strengths and weaknesses. Um, and I know the way I've been training is, is ridiculous, so that's what I'm, I'm going to rest on. Has there been any change now knowing that you're going from the amateur to the pro ranks? You know, man, I'm just in here a lot more um, running all the time, it feels like, even through the winter, and so I got this hoodie on all the time, it seems like, um, pardon, and because I'm cold all the time, it feels like, um, but no, I mean, nothing really, nothing, you know, too extensive, just more cardio. And where do you feel that your game is evolving to? How, where do you feel that you're rounding it out? Oh, um, you know, I think it's just all coming together, um, so I am by practice a traditional martial artist, so that's where I started. Um, so that's what I came into this gym with. Um, you know, doing a lot of wrestling over the years. I mean, with JJ just kind of constantly doing those things. Um, you know, working on my jiu-jitsu game. So just kind of gathering skills in all those areas and kind of bringing it together. Um, you know, hopefully will prove, to, prove to, uh, to allow me to have to show all my skill sets rather than just you know one single. And do you feel you've been able to... Now, you started in a traditional martial arts background. Have you been able to blend that together with the MMA game where you also get that dirtiness of the grind with the wrestling, the cage work, jiu-jitsu? Have you been able to blend your styles? Um, somewhat. You know, some of the techniques I learned, uh, they blend in more, more so the kicks and some of the striking. Um, just more about the angles. Um, in the way that you strike, uh, in the in the art that I practiced, um, I've been able to kind of integrate into this style a little bit more. Um, you know, it's it's a totally different thing though, uh, in that it is more so about real life situations. Um, you know, weapons, disarmaments, and things like that. Um, but there are there's most definitely uh, the roots in you know traditional martial arts like karate and things like that, where there's kicks and punches. And, so I mean, just, I mean, just the balance and. And angles and things like that, I've probably been able to, to implement my game here a little bit more. And what was that traditional martial art you started Oh, uh, it's Kung Fu Sensu. But how did you get into that? You know, I drove by the school one day. And 
the site look cool? You stopped in and said, hey? No, actually, uh, so uh, the guy that um, that was running it, his name's Ish Caleros. He, uh, he was a, kind of a chubbier guy, and he's a, he was the fastest, chubbiest guy I've ever seen in my life. And I seen him break down a couple of people, and I was like, if this guy can move that fast, being that big, um, then I gotta learn something from him. So that's a, that's essentially how it happened. At what age did you start this martial arts journey? Uh, Kung Fu Sansu. I think I was closer to like 24, I think. Um, I started. I, so before Kung Fu Sansu, I did kickboxing for for a while and other um, like boxing type stuff. Um, I got real into it around that age and then just started, fell deep into it. Then. It just kind of grew. Did you expect it going into your 20s or late teens to want to start fighting? Did this just happen one day? No, man. Um, you know, I went to college. I mean, I got I have two masters, so it wasn't it wasn't something that, you know, just I was like, hey, I want to fight somebody. But it was kind of more, you got, I felt like I got to a level where I got to uh, test my Kung Fu Sensu. Um and this was a fit was a place that I came to to do it, and um, and then I fell in love with this, and that's just kind of where it took over. And now, what are your ambitions and expectations for making this pro run? Man, I just want to take it as far as I can, have some fun, um, you know, test myself. There's, I mean, I feel like there's nothing more pure um, than you know two people stepping into a place and engaging in combat, you know. Um, that's how you truly understand yourself. I don't think you understand yourself until you have somebody punching you in the face and you got to think about it. You know, I don't think you understand yourself deeply um, until you're faced with that amount of fear and you react. Um, so, I mean, this is just... I feel, I feel like I want to take it as far as it's going to go. Um, and hopefully it's, hopefully it's really, really far. I'm pretty sure this answer will surprise people. Let me see if I can get this question right. Does it surprise you coming from two master's degrees and you repair electronics on the side that you, there's not as many brutes in fights as would be expected that you don't feel as awkward as it would expect when you hear a guy's uh, pr uh, resume being that of yours whereas people have this stigma of cage fighters you know um, I wouldn't I mean I think I think there's a certain amount of genius that goes into uh, being able to command your body to do things all at once. Um, I think there is a level of intelligence that it takes to actually kind of overcome those internal feelings that we have, those fears, um, just the response to kind of, you know, run, to overcome those things and to react and um, actually respond to your environment in a way that's intelligent. Um, I, you know, everybody that I train with, I, I would think on some level is you know, super smart. Um, you know, I think we all just excel at different things, different aspects. What's the message for the fans as we're talking about a King of the Cage starbound? Man, I mean, if you guys haven't got tickets, if you're not going to be there, you're going to miss out. Um, all of my teammates are going to be on there. I'm going to be on there. Um, you know, I'm trying to put on a show. Um, I'm pretty sure Casey's trying to put on a show. Um, it's it's going to be a blast. So, um, you know, just, just be ready.